Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Clover Connector demonstration. Uh, what you are looking at here is the table order management system. Uh, what we'll do here is enter our username and password. We'll then send the uh, a hash version of the password over to the database um, using uh, SHA-256 authentication and compare it, and it'll let us in. Since this is our first time logging in, we do not have an access token from Clover generated yet. So what we need to do is generate one. So I'm going to enter my name, click Submit, and it'll take us to the login for Clover. We enter username and password, and we hit Login. What will then happen is we now have access to the database. If you look here, there's the merchant ID, the employee ID, the client ID, and a one-time access code that have all been generated. Well, the, uh, the code was generated, and these are stored merchant, employee, and client IDs. Using all of these, uh, a, um, a OAuth 2.0 access token has been generated and stored on our local device. In order to prove this, we'll log back out. Hit a password to, lo uh, to log out in order so that way customers don't accidentally log out of the kiosk function. And we'll log back in. We'll then enter a name again, hit submit, and it allows us to log back in now. And that's because we have the, the access token stored on our local device. This access token allows us not only to communicate with the Clover database, but also with the Clover connector and the Clover device. So, We'll go ahead and make an order. We'll order a burger. We'll order some food. And we'll get a hookah. Order. We'll look at the cart. $18.98. And we'll place the order. What, what just happened was per request for a stakeholder, we got, let's see if you guys can see this here. Uh, basically, he wants the, the printer to act as a, uh, an order printer. And you can see here, it, ge it generated everything that we ordered, the burger, the, the Coke, and the hookah. Uh, now, it shows our total amount due, and we can add a tip. You can add a, enter a custom tip, you can do no tip, 30 tip, we'll just do, you know, 15%. And it takes us to the Clover device. It took the entire total sent through the Clover connector using our, our access token into this device. We will now swipe the test credit card so we can do this here. We hit credit. And everything was approved. All right, thank you very much, guys.